Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So the story that we're talking about today is called Impact and it is, as you might imagine, the story of the executor, executor? I feel like it should be executor, but I always hear it pronounced executor. Anyway, you know, that's the superstar destroyer that was at the Battle of Endor, and this officer, Kassa Joff, is part of the bridge crew who died when our friend Avril Crinid crashed into the bridge and ultimately caused the superstar destroyer to go out of control and collide with the Death Star. Now it turns out that we met Kazva earlier on in the movie. Kazva was the officer that spoke to Han when Han was piloting the shuttle Tiderium and asked for transmission of clearance codes and was there when Vader hesitated about whether to let them go through. And this fear and doubt and uncertainty is something that Kazva is becoming more attuned to as the events of the movie go on and is getting to the point where he's thinking to himself, yeah, maybe this is the wrong course. It turns out that we get some of his backstory and we find out that way back in the days when it was the Republic and the Separatists that the Republic had occupied his home planet Abradon and there were Separatists who were rebelling against the Republic at that point including his own family and he lost his father in a Separatist uprising against the Republic was ultimately conscripted into the Empire once the Republic fell and the Empire rose up. However, there's a grandmother who is apparently still leading <laughs> rebellious activities on Aberdon, and there had been one in you know, the year prior to the events of Return of the Jedi, so basically around the Empire Strikes Back time. This story goes back and forth in time, and it almost has a little bit of a memento-style quality in that it starts off with the you know, moment of impact, or right up to the moment of impact of that a-wing flying into the bridge and then goes backward through moments within Return of the Jedi and also backward through um, Kazva's time growing up on Aberdon. It turns out that that phrase, follow your present course, that Kazva says to Han and his crew, not knowing it's Han and his crew, is the same phrase that his father had said when they were in the middle of separatist activities and in particular the mission that got his father killed. Later on in that incident during the Return of the Jedi or during the Empire Strikes Back time period, there's some notification about the possibility that rebel forces have taken over Imperial production facilities and A-wings are getting manufactured on Aberdon. And there's a reflection about propaganda and how that works with the Empire and that rebel activity is never really reported until it's been smashed. And even then, people know that official channels are often sources of misinformation and disinformation. And then later on, there's another sort of in the grapevine report that maybe Aberdon has fallen into rebel hands once again. And there's a bit of pride that Kazva feels, especially when there's a moment as an A-wing happens to fly by and he sees or thinks he sees something that you know, reminds him of the markings of Aberdon on that A-wing. It's kind of a complex story in the way that it's structured. And in that sense, it's really interesting because, you know, the moment of, you know, intensify forward firepower and too late and the thing smashes, like we have a very coherent story about, you know, the backstory of this particular officer who's there when the worst happens. And it gives us a bit of history going back to the Clone Wars. It kind of echoes something that Cassian Andor has famously said that he's been in the fight since he was six years old because he was part of the Separatists fighting the Republic before it became the Empire. And Kazva was just a year older than that when his father was killed by the Republic. So yeah, Sean Williams, the author of the short story, manages to pack a lot into Impact. And I definitely enjoyed it. And I hope if you're checking it out that you get a chance to enjoy it too. So that's what I've got for you on this episode of the podcast. And it just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it as always. And may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited by their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyrighted by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.